Uh, if one were to believe that a clerical role could grant the dogmatic infallibility, does this not fundamentally change one's entire view of human anthropology itself? Thank you very much, Paisius, for the question. I have always wondered, how in the world can one believe that the chair can sanctify in and of itself? Why is that the truth? We have many heretical bishops. Why is it that when he sits on the chair and he pronounces he's infallible, when we had many, including popes of Rome, in the past on dogmatic issues who were anathematized and rejected by synods, ecumenical synods, or at least two, and they didn't get it right. They were teaching dogmatic issues, and they got it wrong, and they were they were they were anathematized. They were excommunicated. So why do we think this is almost magical? It's it's almost magical, right? That this and it's and it it's totally not consistent with our understanding of holiness. Holiness comes about through ascetic struggle. Holiness comes about through purification. Enlightenment comes through great great ascetic struggle and and purification and enlightenment through the Holy Spirit, in the mysteries, over a long period of time. It doesn't come because a, a chubby old man sits on the seat and says, I am now infallible because I'm going to teach you the dogmas of the faith. I mean, it is it is truly a, a grave and, 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 and terrible departure from basic uh, uh, understanding of the spiritual life and, 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 in, and anthropology as well. But, but soteriology and how, how we're saved and how one is illumined. I mean, it doesn't work that way. We have, you know, why, why can't he be a heretic, claim to teach ex cathedra, and, and, and deliver uh, heretical teachings? There's nothing that would prevent that. If, if he chooses his, if he uses his freedom, departs from the Orthodox teaching, you know, with a small among a thousand, maybe, what, why would people think he's going to be? Protected, it's as if he's not free. He's not free to, to teach heresy. Of course he is, and he, he can sit on the throne and he can they can be somebody like that. Why? Why would that be automatically protected? As if he's not he's that's he's got to participate. And of course, moreover, it's got to be the whole church and Christ as the head, not just him. That's just uh, unbelievable. It's unbelievable. People have arrived at that kind of teaching and, and thought this was the ancient teaching. I mean. They, they have to make the case this is with the teaching in the first century, the third century, that this was the teaching. It doesn't even, it's not even consistent with our understanding of the spiritual life, let alone 2,000 years of church tradition. 